Welcome to Liberty News TV. I'm Norval Rose. Sequester outrage of the day. Leave it to Harry Reid to test new depths of political tastelessness. Just hours after an explosion killed seven Marines in his home state of Nevada, the Senate Democrat leader took to the floor to use the fatal training accident as an opportunity to talk about the potential impact of sequester on military readiness. Let no crisis or tragedy go to waste, eh, Senator? The Marines quickly fired back, saying sequester had nothing at all to do with this very sad loss of life. And maybe this sort of degrading drama on Capitol Hill is why President Obama, visiting Israel, finally, joked that it's good to get away from Congress. More on Reed's maneuverings in the Senate as the majority leader decides to split an assault weapons ban from an overall package of gun control measures set to go to the Senate floor for debate next week. The ban's chief proponent, Senator Dianne Feinstein, expresses outrage. But do you really think this split between two top Democrats in the Senate is genuine? Is it real? Or just political theater staged to satisfy constituencies and protect home turf. CNN's Piers Morgan erupts in another Twitter tirade about the need for gun control and spends an hour on TV with Michael Moore. The Morgan and Moore show offers a predictable plethora of rants and raves about the need for more government crackdowns on guns. This will go away if people let it go away. That's right. The more and more people who now get animated and exercised and right. bloody angry about right. this, the more chance there is that people like Harry Reid will not be able to just park this away. It seems that the lower CNN's ratings go, the higher Piers Morgan shrieks. And Piers Morgan's home country of Great Britain continues heading down the road to authoritarianism, about to adopt new press regulations that some say will effectively end freedom of the press in the United Kingdom. Maybe that's why Piers Morgan moved to America, to rant and rave, which could cause some to call for new press regulations here. And finally, what famous actor turned conservative commentator has come clean? Yep, 73-year-old Chuck Norris has shaved, gone from kicking butt to losing beard. Not sure why just yet, but remember when Joe Namath lost it for Noxema and Farrah Fawcett? I'm so excited. I'm going to get green. Let Noxima clean your face. So the won't. Could Norris and Noxima? We'll see. Cleaning up the mess the left leaves behind, we are Liberty News, inviting you to join us at LibertyNews.com and follow us on Twitter, where we are at Liberty Protecting It. And that's Liberty News TV for today. I'm Norval Rose, thanking you for joining us and looking forward to seeing you right here next time.